Hey guys, Ricky here from MVP Sports here to give you my 2014 NBA draft grades for the Milwaukee Bucks. Little disclaimer before I get into the video, the grade that I'm giving out only affects draft night. It has nothing to do with what has af happened after. So my grade, the Jason Kidd signing will not be put into it. It's just what happened on draft night. And most of you are probably saying, well, duh, but the... Bucks, they made three selections. Second overall, they took Jabari Parker. Then in the second round, they took Damian English and Johnny O'Brien. And the thing about the second rounders, get them out of the way so I can talk about Jabari, is Damian's an athlete. He's got an NBA body. The only weakness is he's still learning how to play the game. The thing about O'Brien is he can score around the rim, going to be a good rotation player, but will not be a a star in the league. He's going to be a rotation player for the Bucks, and you put that someday on it. But now to Jabari Parker. The notes that I have, he's the most NBA-ready prospect in the draft. He's a key franchise player. Yeah, you can say that, you know what, Wiggins is the better defender in the Wiggins-Jabari debate, but to me, the one thing I like is because the Bucks and the Cavaliers got one and two, there could be a little rivalry now between Wiggins and Jabari for who's going to be the better pick. Much like I feel like this is going to be an actual Odin versus Durant type of a thing, but Jabari can actually be like, hey, you know what? I should have been the number one pick and prove people wrong like Durant did. The only thing is I don't think Wiggins is going to get injury ridden like Greg Odin did. But the one thing, the one thing I love about Jabari Parker is that he wants to be in Milwaukee. I mean, for a guy, first off, I would if I was in the draft and I got drafted by Milwaukee, I'd be like, great, I'm on Milwaukee. That'd be me. But you got to think about it. Parker wants to be there. It's close to where he's from right here in Chicago. So, I mean, I feel like for Parker, behind playing for the Bulls, the, the Bucks to him was a second a, – second favorite and I felt like he knew he was going to go there so he's like what whatever make the best of it and if you get a player that actually wants to be there he can be that franchise player and be the first piece he can be like I'm not saying that he's like Michael Jordan but the franchise player like Jordan is to Chicago Kyrie Irving right now is to Cleveland what LeBron used to be for Cleveland he can be that player that guy you build around and be the star in your city to bring the Bucks back. That's what I like. And because of that, I'm giving them an A. I mean, it's kind of hard. I even sent out a tweet before the draft started that no matter who the Cavaliers are thinking, Parker should be the number one pick. If I was in there, I would pick Parker number one overall. I like Parker. Maybe it's my Chicago bias. I like Jabari Parker. He's going to do good things for the Milwaukee Bucks. Gives them a solid point, a solid player to start building around, a franchise player, like I said. But as always, you guys tell me what you think down below. What do you think of, what do you think Parker's career is going to be like in Milwaukee? What do you think of their draft? What do you think about Damian English, Johnny O'Brien, everything? I want to hear it down below. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, all that good stuff. And as always, have a good day, everybody.